Greetings, <clears throat> everyone. Welcome back to another live stream or continuation of the walkthrough of Zelda Breath of the Wild. Today we're going to do the walkthrough part two. As yesterday, well, not yesterday, last time we played the game for two hours and we finished our call, the intro to the game, and we got our paraglider. Today we are going to try out the open world that you can finally explore in this game. Which is going to be very interesting. So, let's continue. Start. And I will put my music on pause so we can just enjoy the in game music or sound or whatever they want to list. I am currently drinking a chai latte, I think it's called. Mm. Delicious. So here we can see the view of Mordor. That is a Mordor. So my quest wants me to go this way, and I have never, I've never left this starting island. Never ever. So it's gonna be for the first time ever. That I'm going to try and get out of here. So this is a big step for mankind, because this is literally first time ever leaving the start place. I see a big troll over there, but I I think we, we're just gonna skip him. How was it you locked? Oh, there we go. Oh, I could actually take that. Can you do something with these banners? Oh, you can actually climb up in them. I don't know why I should do that, but let's let's get down. Can you actually kill that bird? You can. Some would probably say that I'm evil for doing that, but it's food. And I need food. Or else I'm gonna die. I'm just making sure I don't have anything behind my cam we need. Nope. All I'm asking for is for you to answer me in message, messenger. You will have to wait. You will have to wait, but to your answer, yes. It is the scene with them losing a kid where you see both the mom and the dad going through pain from that moment. Oh, nice. Oh, I don't have it. Oops, no, 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 no. Get that arrow back. It would be so nice if you could, like, replace them with automatically. But you have to go into settings and drop them. Drop. Drop. There we go. That's amazing. What's that? I claim all. You know me. I love two hand swords, so that's definitely what we're gonna go for. A bow. Nah, yeah, that that one isn't good. like it. It reminds me of some of the zones in Elden Ring. But again, I mean Elden Ring came out after this, so 
if any game should have got an inspiration from a novel, it's definitely Elden Ring getting inspiration from this. Rusty Broadsword. Um, drop. Drop. Awesome. I mean... Who did that? I mean, come on. Literally, everyone who played Elden Ring. Look at this. This looks exactly like after the starting area in Elden Ring. Where all the zombies are walking. Jesus. Like, I wonder how hard this guy is. Oh, okay, he, he actually... He is quite low on HP. Nice, nice. The weapon there, how, how strong is that? Oh, that's a really strong weapon. So literally anything that I have, which is... Weaker than six. So the weak, I think I'm gonna drop one of these. Oh, what are you doing, boy? How strong was that? It's six damage. It's fine, I'll keep this. Mortal. Uh oh. Good, my weapon broke. Oh, this one has like different. This one has totally different weapon. I like that it like each different weapon has like different animations or I was just about to say, is that a mob? But it actually is. And what is that? Is that a farming hole that is dealing 16 damage? Actually, I think I need that axe to like like um was called to uh to chop and roots oh shit wrong button i have to get used to these coming to get used to this combat. Uh, how good is that bow? So if I put on my number four, it's actually better than that one. 
So let's drop another four. And that one had five. Okay, great. It is time. Does it hurt? I think that was a quote from Bojack Horseman. Delicious. To you who sets food and destroy our ambush Kala in the name of the goddess Helia, I offer this trial. Puzzles. Puzzles everywhere. So in the open world you can climb on basically anything. But in this game, in here you can't. I wonder like if I have anything I can use here. do anything I, I'm just gonna go continue and see if any like if there's anything I can do feeling that I that I can't do anything here <coughs> feels like I need to unlock some more I think I have to come back figured out what to do. An amber. Uh, I was just like randomly double clicking and then some reason it was the right thing. Very sweet. I am a genius. So what's down here? So I can like fly directly up there. <sighs> yeah, I'm sure I, I, I can't jump over there. Cause he's like have no jumping spell skills. This is so I can come back. No, 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 no. Shit. Jesus. I guess that was not. Okay. 
Ah. I think I got it. Uh, but I need to eat some food. Okay, okay, I think I got it. So I have to like fly all the way this way. No. Shit. Okay, we I guess we're just gonna skip that uh gonna skip that chest. Your resourcefulness in overcoming this trial speaks to the promise of a hero. In the name of the goddess Helia, I bestow upon you this spirit orb. Awesome. May the goddess smile upon you. Awesome. And then I guess it's turning blue then. Hey Deacon, good to see you. You want this delicious meat. Is that a chest down there? Maybe if I like... Oh yeah. This guy, he deals a lot of damage. He is like super strong. So I assume my last save was from... Yeah, the cave. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, we're gonna... We're just gonna skip those guys for now. Is that a bad guy or good guy? I may be somehow used to be seeing bad omens by now, but that, well, let's just say it's better than most. We doomed, I mean, don't panic, sorry, who are you, have we met? Well, it doesn't matter who you are, really. I was getting tired of talking to myself, so you come at a good time. By the by, those strange things that popped out of the ground, did you see them? I'm not talking about the mushrooms here. I'm talking about those towers. They seem to have popped up all over the place. 
And that's not the only strange thing that's happened. Those long deserted shrines suddenly started glowing. Aww. You know what that means, don't you? The end is, it ends here. With all this craziness happening, I've been keeping an eye on that thing. Just to see if it suddenly start moving, you know. <laughs> yeah, good idea. Yeah, the Guardian is worth watching. It's just like the ones from those old stories. Did you know some of them can move? One of them once chased me down and tried to kill me. This one here? No, it was a different one. That one was close to the castle, but before the forest. When they spot you, they shoot blue beams of light at you. Man, I was so sure that it was the end for me. I was prepared for the worst. Somehow I managed to escape into those maybe boots. You think it was my lightning fast reflexes that saved me? Ah, I wished. Truth is, I just got lucky. Anyway, I hear guardians like that still wander around Hero Castle. Be careful. You crazy. Crazy man. Can we craft some food? Oh, okay, no. No crafting. What is that? Is that like a goat? Yeah. I killed a goat. And it gave me raw meat. Now I just need to like make it into actually food. How many is defending that post over there? They got one of the very strong ones. was pretty well done. My control aim is definitely getting better. What are we getting in the chest today? A valuable ore that gives off mesmerizing irritants similar to the inside of a seashell. It contains the power of water. Can we eat this? Nice. Can I cook? No. So... That's a horn. Uh, is it stronger? Is it stronger than this one or is it the same? That's the same, okay. Oh, this guy here dropped a few things. Five arrows, we like that. Cool. So, to get all to my quest, I need to get that away. The question is, do I walk over the mountains? Or do I walk through that cliff? I guess walking through that cliff seems more fun. What is that? Um, ouch. The 
crazy fish. Uh oh. What? I'm just trying to walk in here in the water and then I get attacked by crazy fish. They're having a dance party order. Well, I'm just gonna... Why can't I cook stuff? I'm just gonna pretend like I've not seen that. Okay, so I don't think I'm gonna stay alive if I try to cross that water. I think I can cross the water down there. Oh, okay. So, uh oh, shit. Just had to help with a baby situation. Okay, so we are about 
to die. A really strong shield. I'm gonna drop that one. Nice. Just gonna load. I still don't know what we need all these things for, but I'm sure we're going to use them later. Oh, that's a really good weapon. We're going to drop... Well, I need to see something. Can every weapon in this game... Every weapon in this game can drop wood. That is good to know. So I want to use the new sword. 14 damage, that's insane. Don't miss my two-headed sword. So I think it can come over from here. <laughs> that was pretty good. Give me a few arrows. Yep. That wasn't a part of the plan. Raise a fish. Oh, that's really cool. So you can you can like light it up. So if people don't know or didn't see number part one, these towers um, 
are like fast travel points and when you take them it's just like Genshin Impact that that they will give you the entire map of this zone okay so not a good idea to jump because it will drain your stamina So just let him uh, climb. And here we go. Awesome. So now we basically like uh, unlocking this place. Shaika Tower activated. Scanning area. Nice. So for getting up there, I need to go through the mountains, the misty mountains. Then I have to follow the road over there. Searching for shrines, the sensor reacts when you chose it, when you're close to shrines that you have not yet visited. If you head in a direction where the reaction is strong, you should be able to find this shrine. You can enable or disable the shaken sensor with eye on the map. Have you seen, and welcome Big Mob Big, have you seen the new World of Warcraft Dragonflight videos from today? Uh, yeah, like the short video, the animation. The sensor you get has been placed near the minimap. Search for shrines by moving in direction with the strongest signal. I, I saw that it released, but I haven't seen it. I may give it a shot later, but I was like, I was like, I, I can't be bothered with it right now. Nah, I, I don't want to react to it. I mean, I don't feel like Warcraft is my thing anymore. Is that oh shit. shit 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 damn that's he's fast as fuck boy you guy I just killed your bro and then you're just like I'm gonna run away I 
Jesus. Um, I'm gonna take that one. You're dead, boy. Ah, oh, that's one of the crazy fish. So I've ran out of arrows now. What's that? A throwing spear. That actually sounds really fun. Laughing my ass off when you said, oh my god, you're fast as fuck, boy. <laughs> yeah, boy. Yeah, I, I, love, I love that meme. Fast as fuck, boy. Damn. battle all you not with my low HP This game would be a perfect multiplayer co-op game where you can like run around together and do stuff. There's just a sword up here. Mr. Noob at Brief of the Wild. Hello, Zelda Instant Game. Oh my god, can you sh stop? Off. I mean, that was so annoying listening to. Blame, 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 blame. Hello, Mr. Zelda Instant Gaming. Good to see you. Long time no see. I will see. <laughs> okay. So that is killing me. Take a bomb. Hmm. Doesn't work. I maybe have to get up there and then like fly down on it. Ah, this is the life loop. Baby girl. How can I help you? Good evening. Don't see a whole lot of travels passing through here. You know, with how peaceful it is around here, it's sometimes easy to forget 
that the world almost ended years ago. But there are still monsters wandering around, and the area near Hurrier Castle is especially dangerous. Wow. Why are you saying wow? What you call that, bro? <laughs> I mean, do you have something to do, like... I, like, do you have a cross on Sajesa? I mean, I, I, can, I can stay away from Sajesa if you want to. I'll take Zelda then. Then you can have Sajesa. If you're going to be traveling, you should know a thing or about two about elixirs. Elixirs? You can make elixirs by mixing books and other small creatures with monster parts. Most of them are good, no good for refilling your health, but they can have a lot of unique effects. Some elixirs can increase your speed, offers a range of resistance to extreme temperatures. Now I want Zelda and Sajisa. Oh, you want them both, okay. Well, I'll take that guy I met earlier. He was like a nice guy, so... He'll, he'll be my baby boy. I'm actually impressed that you made it this far without any knowledge of Alexius. I can't have it on my Crimson if something happens to you from here, so I'll give you one of mine. But Impa is the best. Impa... Um, I know Impa because of that Hyrule game, you know, the game where you fight like Dynasty Warriors, where you like fight with your hero against like thousands of monsters. Because the demo, you can play um, Link and Impa. She's actually pretty nice. Grind a low level haste effect, which boosts your movement speed while running, swimming or climbing. Nice. Using haste elixir increase your run speed, so I use it to escape from enemies or any time I need to hurry. Nah, but Im nah, but Impa in Breath of the Wild, just wait. I'll wait and see. I won't see. The recipe is just hide, hide till lizard, and the monster part. Oh my fucking! My nose is like. The recipe is just hide till lizard, and monster parts. So I usually have a stock on. Of ten or so on hand. She may or may not be an old lady. This is such as a. She's a nice troll. You deserve to be blowed up. Can I blow you up? Enjoy the rest of your day, please. <laughs> if she was green, she would be a literally troll. I mean, she could look like a troll. Oh my god, can I take one of those horses? I want a horse. How can I get a horse? Apples. Wood. Mm. Can I get a horse? Paul. Is playing Pokemon Sword. Can I get a horse? Hello, sir. Hi. Welcome to the Dwelling Peak Stable. What do you think of the place? Pretty nice, huh? It might be hard to imagine now, but this place was nearly destroyed about 100 years ago. However, thanks to the blessing of the Dwelling Peaks, everything is full of life again. Even the wild horses are back, there's a lot of energy in this place. So when you're heading both Karakan Village and Hetala Beach in Ubi. Wild horses? Hmm. Uh, did you not see any horses on your way here? Certainly not as many in years past, but there's still quite a few around. 
Horses in the wild are more wild. No one has trained or cared for them. If you manage to catch one, let my brother Cesare know. He registered a horse for you. My boys are well sprained by invasion about horses, so feel free to pick their brains. Leave it to Resta. Is that the horse boy? No, I don't. Then allow me to explain. You can board your horse companions with us and then summon them as you please from our network of stables. You may have to crumbs wise wild horses during your travels. If you catch one and ride it here to register it, you will become your horse companion. One person can board up to five horses and you're able to swap in and out as you please. Okay, to catch a wild horse, all you have to do is approach it from behind, slowly, so it doesn't notice you, and then hop on it. But these are wild animals we're talking about. So if the horse you're riding starts to act up, try soothing it. It'll eventually settle down, and when that happens, bring it to me. It may take a while for, while for wild horses to get used to be, being ridden. It may change direction or slow down on their own until they own. If your horse disobeys your direction, you won't gently reiterate it and calm it. And if you continue to interact in that way, your horse will naturally begin to trust you and become more obedient to uh, you. Hi. Okay. Oh. Oh, so I need to catch a horse, get back here, and I can keep it. Who is that? Why is there so many pretty warriors in this game? Yeah. Celessa. She has a deer shield. Have you already been to the Spring of Wisdom? It is known. I'm gonna get something to eat. Bye. See you later, Zelda in State Gaming. Have a good breakfast. It is known the prison seller visits spring, so let's a kind of find her. Yeah, she's fine. It is known the princess seller visits the spring in prayer. I have a great deal of love and respect for her. Okay, I'm gonna get a horse. I mean. Oh, what was it? Well, what was I supposed to do? Mm. 
Register Horse. Gotcha. Two star strength, two star speed, free stamina, and it's gentle. Not a problem. We charge the registration fees to help support our combination reports. The fees also get. We also get your locally made saddle and bridle for your horse. The fee is 20 rupees, okay? Oh, I'm afraid you don't have 20 rupees. If you can't afford a registration fee, you probably Aaron. Call out for horse ownership, sorry. Okay, so I, I can't keep this horse. Because I, I don't have money. yourself beetle because you look like a beetle what have you got arrow it still all the cost money and I have nothing okay well I have to find out how to get the money horse is pretty annoying to ride because it keeps wanting like to go another way See me? I can see you. Shalasa Shalaka. It's been a hundred years since anyone has been able to see me. I'm his too, and I need your help. Those monsters over there stole my beloved Maracas. I think they're still there on the other side of the rocks. I can't use my powers without them, Shukro. So please, please get my Macaras back from them. <coughs> I guess I can buy the horse since I don't have money for it. Three of the blue ones. I mean, 
they are like super strong. How are you supposed to kill them? Oh no, where is the last save? No, 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 no. Uh, okay, that's good. So if I go here, save, save. that quest I'll come back little purple guy and yeah no horse but can I see I have a quest over here Yo, what's up, homie? Hey, Black Bart Gaming. Welcome to the stream. Okay, so you can actually sit. Let's see. Okay, well, let's continue on. I'll come back to this quest. What are you up to? How's the game? Um, it's actually pretty fun. I enjoyed. It. It's it's not very often I play single player games, so. But I like it because of all the equipment. It it reminds me of like a kid version. It reminds me of like a kid version of Elden Ring. Of course, Elden Ring has definitely taken inspiration from this game. the meaning with this but yeah it, it's all a great game you, you can definitely feel like how many like all the games taking inspiration from this Genshin Impact Elden Ring Okay, don't want to attack those things, they destroy your weapons. What games are you looking forward to making content for coming up? Um. Probably... I guess like, I mean, of course in December. Uh, Core Punk. Hey, is that Imba? 
Yeah, I mean, Kwong is probably the most exciting one, which is coming in December. But after December... Uh, I mean, we're getting Tears of Kingdom, which is number two of Zelda games, so I guess I'm quite excited for that one. In February, I think it all the way it was, I think it was like May. Um, but we're getting the new Pokemon game next month, which I'm actually thinking about like buying and making tons of content about. Because I know the Pokemon game is going to be so popular. Okay, that's not in, but that's Nana. Travel, I'm sorry, but I seem to have twisted my ankle. I'm sorry you have to see me like that. Say Traveler. Where did you get that object hiding from your waist? <laughs> yes, I see. That Shaggy Slate is simple, it means you are a hero of the legend. Though there are few no of such legends anymore, but we Shaggy have been waiting for you for a very long time. Please, before all else, I must insist that you meet our leader, Lady Impa. Will do. In any case, you're real honor to meet you. I suppose you're used to having lived as long as you have. What about you, Blackguard? Which games are you excited for? Oh yeah, I'm also excited for Warzone 2. You know, Warzone 2 is coming like, uh, I think it was the 16th November. Ah. Welcome to Enchanted, my high and boutique. By the by, the stealth chess guard over there is highly recommended. While you wear it, your footsteps are nearly soundless, so it's perfect for hunting and stuff. Oh, but it offers very little defense, small price for the extra stealth. It's pretty expensive. I mean, it looks really good, but it's very expensive. I like this. But I can't afford any of this. Um, I'm actually making a video now for like my top 7 games for November for Modern Warfare 2 in, in like 3 days but are you most excited for Modern Warfare multiplayer or are you more excited for Warzone 2 because I'm definitely more excited for Warzone 2 You there, who are you? How dare you trespass upon Lady Impa's boat? Hmm? Mm -hmm. Is that Shaggy Slate? That would mean you are no, it's impossible. not possible. Can it be? Mm. Please forgive us for behaving so rudely. Of course, we've heard the legend from Lady Impa herself. Please, friend, go ahead, a step inside. Get away from me. I'm excited to get some damn content on my channel, so I'll take Eva. I agree. It's always good getting some games which you actually care about, because making ga videos about games you don't care about. I mean, World of Warcraft is getting a new expansion very soon, so there's gonna be so much content to talk about, but I don't care about that game anymore, so just... I, I can't make content about that game anymore. Is that is that a Shaker Slate? Could you be the hero my grandmother told me about? What's what was his name? Lin Lin um Oh it's not that I forgot. I'm just bad speaking. As me as for me, yeah, my name is Pa Pa Pai. Oh, my name is Paya. Phew, I got it out. I know I should be able to say that easily, seeing as how my own name and all, but I'm sorry, sorry. 
Anyway, my McGarry must be waiting. Blah 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 blah. So you're finally awake. It has been quite a long time, Link. I am much older now, but you remember me, don't you? What is the matter? Yeah, I'm just making content about games that I don't care about. Exactly. I used to do it all the times, but I'm like... No, I, I can't be bothered about it anymore. I actually like Modern Warfare multiplayer and Warzone, so I'm happy. Yeah, yeah, yeah I get. You're looking at me as though I'm stranger to you. Those eyes, they like the light of familiarity. It is a... It is I. Courageous one, Impa. Surely you must at least remember the name Impa. I see, so you have lost your memory. Well, it matters not. In fact, that may actually be a blessing in disguise for the time of being. Dearest Link, please come a bit closer. A hundred years ago, yes, a hundred years ago, the Kingdom Hero was destroyed. After you fell, Prince Zelda's final wish was to place you in a sacred slumber, and then all alone, alone she went to face Ganon. Oh, Princess Zelda went nobly meet her fate, she entrusted me with some words she wished to say to you. I have been waiting a hundred years to live with the Princess of Mitchell. However, these words which the Princess risked her life to leave you, well, if you are to hear them, you must be prepared to risk your life as well. But I am afraid that burden may be too much to be here while you are still without your memories. I'll leave the choice to you when you feel you're ready. Just give me it. Yeah. The words that the princess risked her head life to impart to you, I cannot pass them on to someone who lacks conviction. Are you prepared? I am. <laughs> Not a memory to your name, Yet you are and as intent as ever to change forward or charge forward with only courage and justice on your side. You have not changed a bit. Once a hero, always a hero. Oh. Very well. Since you have lost your memory, I will recount you recount for you all that has happened. Cinematic time. The history of the royal family of Hyrule is also the history of Calamity Ganon, a primal evil that has endured over the ages. This evil has been turned back time and time again by a warrior wielding the soul of a hero and a princess who carries the blood of the goddess. <laughs> With the passage of time, each conflict with Ganon faded into legend. So listen closely as I tell you of this legend that occurred 10,000 years ago. Hyrule was then blossoming as a highly advanced civilization. Even the most Powerful monsters posed little threat to the denizens of the realm. The people thought it wise to utilize their technological prowess to ensure the safety of the land, should Calamity Ganon ever return. They constructed four mechanical wonders that came to be known as the Divine Beasts. They also built a legion of autonomous weapons called Guardians. The Divine Beasts were piloted by four individuals of exceptional skill from across the land. 
and thus the plan to neutralize Ganon was forged. Upon Ganon's inevitable return to Hyrule, the princess and the hero fought alongside these four champions against this ancient evil. The Guardians were tasked with protecting the hero as the Divine Beasts unleashed a furious attack upon their terrible foe. And when the hero wielding the sword that seals the darkness delivered his final blow, the princess used her sacred power to seal away Calamity Ganon. Hundred years ago, in preparation for the portal revival of Ganon, we have to follow the lead our ancestors of ten thousand years prior. But in the end, despite our best effort and careful planning, we are underestimated his power. In order to avoid ever making that grave mistake again, the princess left with these words: "Free the four divine beasts." This is what she said. All divine beasts are the ancient shaggy weapon wielded by the four champions who Ganon defeated. The divine beasts were rooted and controlled by Daru of the Gorons. The divine beasts were Middle, controlled by Rivali of the Ritu. Divine beasts were Ruta, controlled by Mifa of the Sora. The divine beasts were Naboris, controlled by Ubusa of the Garuda. It would be extremely ill-advised to face Ganon without the power of the Divine Beasts to help you. You must infiltrate Divine Beasts that were stolen away by Ganon hundred years ago and bring them back to our site. More information about these Divine Beasts can be found by locating the four races scattered across Hero. The Shaggy Slave will guide you on your way. You must go where it tells you and meet each leader there. It seems to me that Shanga Slade is not yet complete. The device Princess Zelda left you is your guide and also your memory. Now let's see. Someone at the research lab in Heights and Village might be able to help you. Understood. You are Princess Zelda's only hope and Harold's as well. You cannot turn back now. Follow your heart and seize your destiny. Awesome. So that means I have destroyed Ganon, which is I can't do right now. Free the four divine, free the divine beasts. So that one. Okay, so that's why I have to free them. Cool. And then the locked memories is over there. I'll start with that one. Safe. Okay, I'll be right. I'm um, be right back. So I'll put this on and leave you for a quiet moment.
returned. So we need to get down there back in. I wonder... Can we like sell to this person? I want to sell. Nice. So now I can finally get my horse. Oh, she don't want to buy weapons. What a shame. Hmm. She wouldn't give quite a lot for these materials. Sounds really raw the way she gets excited. Ah. And you can also get both of those. Ah. Oh, please stop. Okay. <laughs> so I think I'm going to buy some of these items here. Thank you. That one is also an upgrade. And that's the same I already have. Awesome. That's really nice. And this over here has less armor, so I'm gonna like be weakened, but it's very nice for stealth. But I'm not really into stealth gameplay so okay let's get a horse this game is just getting better and better I just I just wish this game had some kind of like multiplayer option like any way you can like run it. I mean, just imagine running around with a friend in this game. It, it would be so amazing. I wonder if I take like less damage now. Because my overall armor has just been increased to 9. So like does that mean I I take less damage now?
Well, my goal now is to get a horse. A horsey horse. It's very warm. Is that really my horse waiting for me? Okay, it's actually pretty royal. Uh, royal, not royal, uh, loyal. if you stop hiding. Ah, uh, so, okay, so that's how you stop. Register this horse. Oh, okay, so I have a 99% bond now. That's cool. Yeah, 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 yeah. 20 rupees. Please enter name for your horse. Mm. We're gonna call it Magnus. Just like my firstborn son. Ah. Yeah. Your registration is complete. Would you like to take your new horse, would you? Take horse. Ah. Thank you. We will see you next time. Mm. And by the way, if you get separated from your horse, you can whistle it and it will come running. Good to know. But your horse isn't magic, it can't hear you if you're too far away, so do keep that in mind. Oh, okay, so it's not like those, uh, it's not like the, the mountain, like, like an Elden Ring. If you're like, too far from it. I see, so you kind of you kinda have like, stick it with you. Can I buy some stuff from you? I would like to buy some arrows. Wow. Thank you. Yeah, that that should be enough. Look what I got. And I can't sell weapons. Damn it. That's alright. 
<laughs> so my new companion. Are you ready? For an adventure. your house horse oh you can actually attack from the horse that's very really cool The Mount of Combat reminds me just of Elden Ring. Oh, my horse actually attacked it. shield is like really strong so I'm gonna drop that one and take soldier shield and take all this with us because we can sell it oh I need that guy over there I mean no one is gonna heal you calling out for friends but it, it's basically alone opal those can be sold for a lot of money
have a horse present. Yeah, my name is Garil. Come to see Fort Hatina? That's right. Figure as much. It's well worth seeing. Fort Hatino. Here was the last line of defense between Hatino village and the awful tragedy all those years ago. Everyone got to come and pay their respect, at least once in life, right? I see. Hold on, I'm gonna go in and steal... Steal all the stuff in here. Who's fighting? Oh, it was... The little water... water thing. Hello there. When a dark light besides the cursed stage's eye, Pierce it gaze to purge the seal of the shrine. Mm. But where am I? It must be around here there. What are you up to? Oh. Ah, let me guess. You caught wind called wind of the great Dr. Caleb's groundbreaking research and just had to meet him yourself? No? Don't tell me you never even heard of me after you have dedicated my life researching at the ancient shrines. Well you better remember my name, for it's not the last you'll hear of it. Oh. And while I'm not it is Dr. Caleb. If you please, I didn't study my area and end to be called Mr. Caleb. Ah. Yeah. Let's get out of here. Is that Ludo there? Come here, boy. Damn, this horse really... Like, it turns so slow. Ah, uh, so it seems like you have to turn the camera also. actually following the road. I didn't expect it to do that. It, it's just autopathing. So I think the next tower is over there. Actually, I think I have to go back. Because I want to get over there. Yeah, that's the bridge. Great.
Oh no, it looks like it does have kind of like fawns. Basically, a stone. I'm not gonna make it. I really need to remember click save. The game is actually pretty good at like clicking all save. Okay, so I got a potion which grants a low level haste effect which boosts your movement speed while running, swimming and climbing. Still not enough. Damn it. So I need to upgrade my stamina bar before I can get that one. Okay. That's annoying. to get to that village or the some hot tea.
Delicious. Yeah, I believe it's here. Who? Who are you? I demand answers. If you're up to this late, well, you're probably up to no good. I'm a traveler. Hmm, you certainly do appear to be a Hylian, like the rest of us. Hylians are generally good folks, so I'm sorry for getting all worked up. You're free to go. Just a waypoint on your winding road, huh? Ah, the life of a traveler. Well, you can go to most thing you need in general store, and the inn is just back there. How nice. Oh, I swear, this game is so nice. And then I just ride like, what the hell are you doing, horse? I mean, just look at this insane village, and then me as a hooded ranger riding through this nice city. I mean, god damn it! I I understand why everyone is saying this game is amazing. So the check mark go. No, don't delete that stamp, but delete stamp. Okay, horse. You can get in here. Stay there. Welcome. Hello. Good evening. Welcome to Tonpu Inn. A regular bed is 20 rupees, or if you're looking for more relaxing, restrict mind and body experience, you can have an extra soft downy bed. A uh, regular one. Very good. One regular bed. One guest. Would you like to be a organ? Um, in the morning. Please enjoy your stay. I mean, they could have. They could have at least shown some kind of like little cinematic of me going into a room, closing the door, just anything. Instead of like literally nothing. So here we have a shield. Let's explore this inn. Oh, I guess that's why I have been sleeping. Very interesting. I like when you open doors that it's the same world that you don't have to like go through a loading screen. It's like the same. Okay, I think my horse is happy just staying there. Oh, who are you? Checking everyone's out today, too. Checking just never stops. You ever stayed at Tanpu Inn? Yeah. Makes no difference to me, but I'm supposed to check out everyone who comes into town. Right, right. Though so, I know this been have been peaceful. Recently, the outside world is still pretty dangerous, yeah? So I gotta check and make sure I need beauties. 
if you're lucky enough to stay at the turn point in, you'll see what I mean. Say hello to Prima, for me if you do. Not that she even knows who I am. This is tough, I have to give her something. What kind of gift do you think Prima that the two in the world want? Just take a guess. It's not for me, you understand, it's for my buddy's friend. So he's in love with the girl in there. And I got a side quest of that? Do you know... Do you know Prima? That's Miss Prima to you. You have been at the end here? Prima is the cleric over at the Tanbun Inn. What am I supposed to do in this quest? All I have to do is ask Prima what she... Oh, okay. So we basically have to go in and ask her. What would you like in gift? do is ask Prima what she loves most ah. but she doesn't want to tell me she just want to tell me about beds Well, anyway, I'm gonna, I'm gonna check out that mission later. We are on more important things right now. I have to get over there. So how, I think I have to go that way. So I'm not allowed to ride fast in the cities. I see. What is that? Interesting. All you can do all to pathing again, please. Probably right, we have to go this way. That way. And there, uh, yeah. I mean, you're the horse, so you probably know what you're talking about. Yeah, let's try to go this way. Yeah, this seems right. PlayStation. So this is my main story. I'm gonna unlock something new in here. And my last PlayStation was also two hours. So I think it's a good thing to like stop now. I know it's exciting point. We have actually went to now. We want to see what's inside there, and we want to see what I'm gonna unlock. But I think it's a good stay place to like stop and start from next time. So we're gonna stop here. I'm gonna click save. I mean, I'm like four hours into the game and I feel like we 
we already have we seen so much. It's insane. This game is so good. I never imagined me enjoying a single play game, but I'm actually enjoying it. So the first two hours was this introduction. The second two hours we now played was like getting our horse, knowing how to get better armor, selling stuff, boom boom boom. And I'm excited to try the next two hours again. So for everyone who's been watching the live stream, for, for everyone who's watching this video as when it becomes a VOD, thank you so much for watching and um, I'll continue this journey even if you don't enjoy it. So thanks for watching. Everyone who's here on the live stream or the video, I appreciate it. And I'll see you another time. Good evening, sleep well. Bye-bye. Cheers.